Let's solve this problem from India's regional math Olympiad. We're asked to find the remainder when 2 to the 1990 is divided by 1990. Now, you might immediately notice that 199 is prime, or that perhaps it's prime. Either way, that should be our first point of investigation. We have 2 to the power of a multiple of a prime number, and we're going to be able to use Fermat's little theorem. So instead of focusing on 2 to the 1990, we're going to start by thinking about 2 to the 199. Here is Fermat's little theorem, if you don't recall. It states that if p is a prime number and n is relatively prime to p, then n to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p, and that's the same as saying n to the p is congruent to n mod p. This is a must-know theorem for these types of problems. If you don't understand it at a glance, don't worry, you'll see how it works when we apply it. Quickly, just state this again, 199 is indeed prime. You could check that by noticing 15 squared is greater than 199, so you would just have to check factors up to 14. You won't find any. Indeed, 199 is prime, and so is 2. So 199 and 2 are relatively prime, and thus we can apply this part of Fermat's little theorem. 2 to the 199 is congruent to 2 mod 199. This means then that 199 must divide their difference. 2 to the 199 minus 2 is congruent to 0 mod 199. So 199 divides 2 to the 199 minus 2. From here, we can set up an equation from the definition of divisibility and then get back to the power of 1990 using the binomial theorem. So if 199 divides 2 to the 199 minus 2, by definition of divides, that means 2 to the 199 minus 2 is equal to 199 times some integer k. Thus, 2 to the 199 is equal to 199k plus 2, just adding 2 to both sides. Then, we get back to the power of 1990 that we desire by raising both sides of this equation to the power of 10. 2 to the 199 to the power of 10 is just 2 to the 1990. And on the right, we have 199k plus 2 to the power of 10. This is a binomial to a power of 10, so now we will use the binomial theorem. The binomial theorem tells us exactly how something like this expands, and it looks like this. The sum from n equals 0 to n of the binomial coefficient 10 choose n multiplied by 199k to the n times 2 to the 10 minus n. So notice, every term in this sum after the first term, where n equals 0, every term after that is going to have a factor of 199. When n equals 0, that first term is just 2 to the 10, but after that, every single term will have some factor of 199. So that means if we subtract that first term from both sides of this equation, on the left, we'll have 2 to the 1990 minus that first term, 2 to the 10, and on the right, we'll have all the other terms, which are just some multiple of 199. Thus, 199 must divide 2 to the 1990 minus 2 to the 10. Again, that's because all terms except the first one have a factor of 199, so if we just subtract that first term over to the left side of the equation, the right side all contains factors of 199, and so 199 must divide both sides of the equation, since they're equal. So 2 to the 1990 minus 2 to the 10, that is certainly divisible by 199. This is very useful because remember, the question is about a remainder after dividing by 1990. We've just shown that 2 to the 1990 minus 2 to the 10 is perfectly divisible by 199, so now we just have to show that it's also divisible by 10, and then we'll know that this difference is in fact divisible by this important number, 1990. 
and we can show that this difference is indeed divisible by 10 by just using some modular congruence. 2 to the 1990 is equal to 2 to the 4 times 497 plus 2. The reason we break this down into some multiple of 4 is because 2 to the n mod 10 has a cycle of period length 4. 2 to the 1 mod 10 is 2. 2 to the 2 mod 10 is 4. 2 to the 3 mod 10 is 8. 2 to the 4 mod 10 is 6. And then 2 to the 5 mod 10, doubling again, gets us back to 2. So you can see the period is 4. So that's how we know that 2 to the 4 times 497 plus 2 is congruent to 2 to the 4 times 2 plus 2 mod 10. 2 to the 4 times 2 plus 2 obviously is 2 to the 10, which is why we're interested in it. And here on the left, again, we just have 2 to the 1990. They must be congruent to each other mod 10 because they each just go through some periods of this cycle and then there's just an additional two factors of two in each case so they're certainly congruent to each other mod 10 which means they end in the same digit since they're congruent mod 10 10 must divide their difference and so we have that 10 divides 2 to the 1990 minus 2 to the 10 and since 10 divides this difference and 199 divides this difference, their product, 1990, must also divide that difference. And this gives us the answer to our problem, because remember, the question is about the remainder when 2 to the 1990 is divided by 1990. Well, we know there is no remainder when we divide 2 to the 1990 minus 2 to the 10 by 1990. There's no remainder. So when you look at this, you should think about there being a remainder that we're looking for, but then it just got subtracted away. And now in this situation, there is no remainder. What was that remainder that got subtracted away? It was 2 to the 10. If you subtract it, there's no remainder anymore. Look at that. The difference is divisible by 1990. So the, the remainder that you would have if you divided 2 to the 1990 by 1990 is 2 to the 10, because when you subtract it, there's no longer any remainder. Now, it could be that 2 to the 10 is bigger than 1990, and so in fact the remainder is some smaller number, uh, but we can quickly check that's not the case. The remainder, when 2 to the 1990 is divided by 1990, is 2 to the 10. A quick calculation shows 2 to the 10 is 1024. You could find that as just 32 squared, so yes, that is the remainder. Again, that's because this difference is clearly a multiple of 1990, and then the number we're actually interested in is just 2 to the 10 more than that. It's 2 to the 10 more than a multiple of 1990, which means its remainder, after division, is 2 to the 10. So that's a solution to this interesting math problem involving the remainder of a very, very large division problem. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and if you'd like to see some more interesting math problems, check my playlist in the description. Please consider joining Wrath of Math as a channel member to help support what I do if you'd like to see more videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus, I'm the V to the T, my Parameter the rapidest happens like this. My lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. The union in together, like any time that we intersect.